24 hours to a day. So they tell you you're supposed to sleep what? Eight hours. And so now you got how many left? 16. And then you're supposed to work what? Eight hours. And now you got what left? Eight hours. You haven't cooked. You haven't got dressed. You haven't said hello to the children. Sleep deprivation. That's how they get you. Sleep deprivation. Huh? You haven't watched TV. You haven't called your mother, your children. Sleep deprivation. It's right there. What's up, Scorpios? What it do? What the business is? All right. This is 1028 Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. Thank you so much, Scorpios, for all your help, your likes, your the, the, everything, bro. I mean, I'm looking at all the comments. A lot of you guys said y'all don't cross watch. Um, but you do need to look at all the, the um, signs in your chart, Scorpio. And I'm telling you that as a Scorpio, because back in the day, I used to be like, uh-uh, fuck that. Fuck all the other signs. I'm just looking at Scorpio. But honestly, you need to look at the signs that are in your fucking chart, okay? Um, if you don't know how to find out what that is, DM me. Send me a message. Be like, yo, how do I do that? I'll send you an app that tells you everything. The reason why you need to do that, because you need to listen to all of the different signs. Because there's messages in there for you okay um and it's really important that you understand that as a scorpio we only be fucking with the shit that got something to do with us everything extra is just extra you feel what i'm saying and i understand that <laughs> all right so scorpio let's see what's going on on your mind or somebody else's okay um somebody wants to heal their addictions they realize that these addictions that they have they ain't serving them you know they asking and they praying for you i feel like scorpio you have somebody that's praying that they can get released out of something so they can come towards you they like please man i need help somebody help me god they reaching out to some energy some higher power for assistance and it's because it's time for them to let go of behaviors that are blocking them from their heart's desires okay so somebody is just suffering in silence they love you scorpio but they don't know what to do they're trying to get help they they feel isolated this could be somebody who has a shell or their daughter or child just gave them some shell somebody could be from florida somebody could have a pet turtle all right but they're asking angel Raphael to help with healing because they really want to move towards somebody all right it says listen to your intuition and feelings in reverse this is definitely something Somebody who was guided to speak to you scorpio guided to talk to you you could have been guided to fuck with this person and you was like fuck that shit i ain't doing it okay because we gotta listen to your intuition in reverse somebody realizes that not listening to their intuition caused them big time and and, it, and it's rough but it's a lesson bro and if and none of this stuff ain't finna kill you bro you can change your direction at any given time okay damn all right so somebody is just really up in their head okay so this is somebody who wants to heal the addictions they, they they may be addicted to lying they may be addicted to just not being an authentic person and they're starting to see that this person was um on the fence about staying or going but i feel like they stayed where they was take my hand they really wanted to go with you because they had a lot of passion for you all right but they do watch your ass on social media because wherever they stayed at was unrequited and they understand that unrequited just means i don't like this shit but we got kids here okay but they really do wanted to go away with you, Scorpio. They wanted to take your hand. They're trying to be in a commitment. They're trying to stand by their person or be in a situation. And they're thinking about this like, does this even make sense? Okay, this could be somebody who's been in a long-ass relationship. No marriage came out of it. Nothing, just kids and just co-parenting. You're like, man, what the fuck is we doing? I mean, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Okay, and you like, should I stay? Should I go? The reason why he is doing this is because he don't have no money or she don't have no money or she's not the person who has stability for long term you were and if you are the person scorpio that had that long-term stability spirit is telling you bitch get the fuck out especially if you don't have nothing go to your mama house i don't understand why people don't go to their parents houses okay stack your money up i don't give a fuck if you 42 56 who gives a fuck okay it's better to stand in a toxic ass situation now the person that your person or this could be you whoever the fuck this is because it's just energy this person did want to go with you scorpio they want to take your hand they understand that you see signs you see synchronicities you see all of this stuff and maybe they were scared about that okay with first kiss maybe that's all y'all got y'all only moved towards like first base you know you didn't touch this nigga he didn't do nothing nasty to you you know y'all just was kissing and touching and doing that heavy hot and patting stuff you know what i'm saying but once they really got to know you 
they realize that you got all this spiritual stuff going on and i feel like that may have intimidated somebody somebody don't know really know how to approach that scorpio and you could have been heavily into that shit okay so they're like what but now they're realizing that there's no passion in their situation they really should have left but it was unrequited they watch you on social media all the time and they're trying to stand by their partner okay but i feel like their partner know about you and you just too fine they can't let this go okay it says you deserve better than me so now this person feel like you only deserve them they your best person they're the best person to be with you but they can't get to you and all they do is think about your ass all right so scorpio somebody just in their head about you and the situation they can't get it says i find you incredibly attractive this person hides the fact that they find you incredibly attractive they try to tell their person no you are the beautiful one you are the handsome one you look better than scorpio it this is a lie i don't know who this is I don't know who's trying to convince they person that the person is. But everybody can look good. They person and you. But that don't stop this person from stalking you on social media. That don't stop this person from watching you from a fake account. So even though this person feel like who they with is beautiful and kind and stuff. It's all beautiful and kind based off you being the mother or the father of their child. It's not like if they got to choose and they was a single person and they had their kids. They would be with Scorpio. And it's just what it is. This is a third party situation. <laughs> okay. This is a third party situation. Okay. And this is uncharted territory, okay? So somebody just want to take a leap of faith with you. And this is something that they never did before, but they want to do it. Okay, that shit was in the reverse in my hand and fell out like that. Okay, so Scorpio, you got many suitors. A lot of people be looking at you like, damn, shit, little shot of you single, what's up? Okay, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Divine feminine and maybe. Okay, so you got many di different suitors. Somebody understands that whoever they was with was very toxic. Okay, but they was very certain on choosing this toxic motherfucker. There's a lot of changes coming, Scorpio. You could be seeing 555. Five, five. You have major shifts that's coming in your life. Your life is, is, is going through a a huge glow up the path and direction that you're on is going to be bomb as fuck so stay positive and be optimistic scorpio because it ain't nothing going on but up from here honestly nobody watches you harder than someone who can't stand you so give them a fucking show and that's fucking vibe forever